everyone. I miss Natalie. This is Westlake Porter Public Library, Library at 11. I'm so glad you could join us today. Do you know what today is? Today is a very special holiday in which we honor the memory, the life, and the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr was a wonderful civil rights leader, an activist, a father, a husband, a friend. He was a reverend, meaning he was a minister and a preacher. He was a writer. He was a philosopher and a thinker. But most of all, he was a champion for peace, justice, equality and equity, and love. Well, let's get started hearing some books about Dr. King, hearing Dr. King's own words, and having a wonderful Martin Luther King Day in honor of a great man. Our first book today is called, I Have a Dream. Dr. Martin Luther King is most remembered for a speech called, I Have a Dream. And he gave this speech in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. This book is the entirety of that speech. So it is the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The paintings that make up the illustrations are done by an artist named Kadir Nelson. Thank you to Penguin Random House Publishers that we can share this book today. By the way, if you get this book from the library, it comes with a CD. A CD is a type of media, the disc, that you can put in a computer or a CD player, sometimes even in a TV, and listen. They usually have music on them. This one, though, actually has a recording of Martin Luther King giving the I Have a Dream speech. So if you check this out, make sure that you check out the CD at the back, too. So you could definitely um, look up. There are lots of wonderful websites about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and you can hear parts of his many speeches. He made lots of speeches, he wrote lots of books, he gave lots of sermons, and his words still exist because this wasn't that many years ago. We have recordings of him, we have video footage of him, we have photographs of him. So make sure if you're interested to call the library, say you'd like to see or hear some of this, and we can direct you to some of the best places to go to learn more and to see more. I have a dream. I say to you today, my friend, that even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. 
I have the dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, every valley shall be exalted and every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is the faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This is the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning. My country, tis of thee, Sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And when this happens, when we allow freedom to ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. This speech was delivered from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, August 28, 1963. I think that it's a beautiful thing to take a person's words and let them be, let them speak for themselves. And thank you to Kadir Nelson for putting these beautiful, meaningful paintings on them that you just saw. And thank you again 
to Penguin Random House Books for letting me be able to share this edition of I Have a Dream by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. with you today. If you listen hard to that speech, he said, let freedom ring many times, right? He even said, let freedom ring from basically every mountain, every hill, and every molehill in the United States. So I thought we could sing a song called Freedom, Freedom, Let It Ring. And if you know Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, you'll catch on fast to Freedom, Freedom, Let It Ring. Okay, so I thought we could try this together. I'll sing it once, and if you catch on, join me, and then I'll sing it a second time, and you should all be able to join me. Freedom, freedom, let it ring, let it ring, said Dr. King. Let us live in harmony, peace and love for you and me. Freedom, freedom, let it ring, let it ring, said Dr. King. Great. Let's do it all together. Freedom, freedom, let it ring. Let it ring, said Dr. King. Let us live in harmony, peace and love for you and me. Freedom, freedom, let it ring. Let it ring, said Dr. King. Very good. Thanks for joining me. Our next book is called Be a King. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Dream and You. This book is written by Carol Boston Weatherford and the illustrations are by James E. Ransom. And today we'd like to thank Bloomsbury for allowing us to share be a king with you all. Be a king. In the beginning of this book, there's a very beautiful quote, an inspiring quotation by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Everybody can be great because everybody can serve. You don't have to have a college degree to serve. You don't have to make your subject and your verb agree to serve. You don't have to know about Plato and Aristotle to serve. You don't have to know Einstein's theory of relativity to serve. You don't have to know the second theory of thermodynamics in physics to serve. All you need is a heart full of grace, a soul generated by love. And that was said by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You can be a king, marvel at creation, keep the faith of your ancestors. You can be a king, know that bigotry hurts. Remember how you felt when treated unfairly. You can be a king, admit that you've done wrong. Just say, I'm sorry, and mean it. You can be a king. Know that dividing walls should come down. You have glimpsed the other side. You can be a king. Break the chains of ignorance. Learn as much as you can. You can be a king. Stand for peace. Band together against bullies.
you can be a king. Sing a song of freedom. Keep your eyes on the prize. Hold on. You can be a king. Stamp out hatred. Put your foot down and walk tall. You can be a king. Answer your critics. Believe in your cause and state it plainly. You can be a king. Have a dream. Make yours great enough to grow into. You can be a king. Make the world take notice. Do your very best at whatever you do. You can be a king. Beat the drum for justice. March to your own conscience. You can be a king. Lift up the less fortunate. Be the king or queen of health. You can be a king. Set your sights on the mountaintop and climb a little higher every day. That is Be a King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s Dream and You by Carol Boston Weatherford. Illustration by James E. Ransom. Published by Bloomsbury. If you join me for any of my story times, you know that Miss Natalie likes to finish with affirmations. Affirmations are a big word that just means I am statements. And I think that's a great way to end today because I think every child, every child, those who are tuned in today and those who aren't, is great, is smart, is strong. And I would love if every child on this earth believed and felt that they were loved. So repeat after me, friends. I am great. I am great. I am smart. I am smart. I am strong. I am strong. I am love. I am love. Today is an awesome day. Today is an awesome day. It sure is, friends. Well, remember, Wherever you are, remember that you are great, strong, smart, loved, and make today and every day as awesome as you can. Until next time, friends. Bye for now. Remember to tune in to our social media for more wonderful family-friendly content, including Library at 11. Check our events page for story times and other fun activities and give us a call, email us, or um, let us know any way that we can help you find materials, books, CDs, uh, great websites to learn more about famous figures through history, important people like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And just say, hey, we miss you. I miss you. Have an awesome